Hey everyone, it's Dale and I wanted to quickly walk you through the Storify process. I know we had some problems connecting my Twitter account last night to the account, finally figured out what was wrong. I already had my Twitter account connected to a different Storify account, so that's why it wasn't allowing multiple of those, but that won't be a problem for you. So when you go to Storify.com, this is the screen you'll see, and uh, when you click create a story, it's going to take you to a screen so you can join. So click join now enter in a username, an email, a password, click this box, and go ahead and hit sign up. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. And once you sign up and log in, this is the screen you will see. So you'll go right here to create a story. You wanna create a public story. You gotta put in a headline. So this is our TX State Twitter scavenger hunt. And then uh, you enter in a little description here. Uh, I scoured the Texas State campus to find some cool scenes and sites. You can write whatever you want there for the description. And then here is where the main post will go. Now, the thing I was having problems with last night right here is the Twitter account. Now that I've connected my account, when you click Twitter, you have all these options right here. So the first thing you'll see is a search option. You can search for keywords there, you can search for hashtags there, you can search for just about anything you can think of. So for instance, if you wanted to do a search for all the tweets using the Texas State hashtag, here you go. So you'll see there they all are. And if you wanted to drop those over, all you do is that. Um, for you, for the purposes of this assignment, you're going to be using your own tweets. So if you click on user right there and you enter in your Twitter account, it will pull up a list of your most recent tweets. So if you find, um, obviously I don't have any because I'm not taking part in the scavenger hunt, but just find your 10 tweets, just drag them over, stuff like that. And uh, once you have all 10, then all you do is hit publish, publish story. Let it work for just a second. And now you have your Storify story. This is that option I was telling you about where it'll notify the people you've been quoted in. Uh, you don't have to worry about that for this instance because you're only going to have your own tweets on this. So you don't want to send a tweet to yourself that you've used yourself. So go ahead and skip, skip. So if you go right here, now you have your URL. And you'll just copy and paste that into an email and send it to me so that I know. So I hope that makes sense. Storify is really easy to use, can really help you out with your writing. So uh, I hope you continue to take advantage of it throughout the semester.